Good morning, gentlemen. We have another mountain recovery. We've uh, we've been getting them pretty frequently, actually. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's due to the fact that um, CHP will call um, other companies and they'll uh, they'll turn them down. Um, not sure why but um the cat said 250 feet but now that i'm looking at it it's i think it's a little further than that actually so i'm gonna go ahead and uh gauge it from here i'm estimated about 400 feet 450 so maximum flight distance reached I actually see it right there, so gauge it better. Maximum flight distance reached. Yeah, see, sometimes they fly from that curve, and they launch it, and then they go flying down all the way down over there, which it might be the case. It's it's pretty. Uh, I see here it's. I see the parts of a uh, car, so it looks like it flew all the way down there, and it kind of it's pretty synonymous with the in line with whatever it uh, it launched. But I, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, a lot of car parts there, so I'm pretty sure the it's pretty frequent. there hmm. obviously we're up here and you see big flipper and truck 13 Chanta taking pictures and uh, me with my drone scoping it so cool we're just gonna wait for CHP and US Forestry to get over here and uh, we'll uh, wait for them so we can start setting up. Most likely they're gonna close uh, the road here. Cool. So we're back guys. Uh, now we have, uh, we have control where uh, we have traffic control now from uh, US Forest and uh, Caltrans. Uh, we have Chenta here attaching a strap here. So uh, when I come back up, up the hill, it just gives me the last push. If you remember, I did actually a recovery here on uh, with the Mazda Miata here. And uh, Uh, it's almost very in a similar spot. Same area actually, same mile marker, 33 4. Um, but yeah, definitely we'll, uh, we'll attach a strap just for this little part because uh, after you're coming up the hill and everything down from down there, uh, which like I said, the cat says 250, but it's closer to 400, 450 just by gauging the distance here. Um, I'll definitely, uh, definitely. Uh, put a, a strap to be able to come up. Monday? Some water. Like I said, uh, I was discussing with the officer earlier that some of these guys, man, they end up having these accidents because they end up flying off. Um, based on the rate of speed that they're going so obviously you you always want to keep your speed down I know for a fact some of these vehicles are not maintained obviously they're not they're not race cars Thank you. 
since I last been here obviously there's been some vegetation growth the only trees that I'm concerned of that I hate are the yucca trees you get close to them and they're uh, very jagged God, those hurt the last the uh, last time I was in actually in this area I ended up uh, stabbing myself see and I'm pretty sure they uh, people saw for crash because of this these uh mango micheladas end up being impaired and uh yeah There's another one. Driving impaired over here, look at driving more tricky modelos. That's funny. Which is the best area? I will start attaching my extension from here. That way, I don't uh, go all the way out. So from there, I'll attach my extension here. Kick that one there, and I start pulling this one. These uh, trees with thorns. Uh, can't find a sleeping bag. Success. Okay, found the battery. <laughs> you see right there. Now these three 
up here. Maybe a car straps. One of them. Next, I'll attach the other. And I think it is a cool. Hi, Chente! Chente saying hi. Cool. Now for the climb back up. Just gonna, before I leave, I'm gonna touch my, my extension. Hey, see? Gauge it pretty well. 250 plus my 150. Right up there. There it is. All right. Now I need to climb back up. Last time I was huffing and puffing. This time not so much. I've uh, upped the cardio a bit. Crap. Yeah. ¿Cuánto cable se salió? Le faltan siete. ¿Ahorita ya tienen siete? Sí. Nice. Uh, still four left. So this, when I'm spooling up, 
I just want to make sure it's nice and uniform so when it's pulling up the casualty, it's not cross, uh, a crossing over with the other cable. And when that happens, when it crosses over and it creates tension, it smashes the cable, which in turn uh, demolishes your uh, demolishes your uh, your working load limit, makes it dangerous. This picture of paper clip, you keep on twisting and twisting and twisting, and it breaks. Same thing with this. Once I create tension on my line, I'm gonna shoot up my drone so I could uh, monitor when it's coming up and down. Make sure it doesn't get caught on anything. ¿Por la culpa del debe qué? As you can see, it's uh, slowly coming up. So I had my use all my extension of 150 plus uh, my 250, make it at a 400. So once I uh, retract my cable all the way up to my boom head, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull my other cable and uh, attach the vehicle directly so I could uh, finish the recovery. So this is gonna be a two-part recovery, two-stage. Um, so it's going to require me to go down there again. So sometimes the officers, the Caltrans and other, the other government agencies, they, uh, they get surprised when it's just one person and per truck. Normally they send teams out here for this stuff. They send, you know, five, six, seven guys for run cable down there. And then just one guy that just sits about controls and just push the levers, which kind of, uh, I want to say defeats a purpose, but. I mean, the whole part of the recovery is, you know, for at least for me, is uh, get down and dirty and uh, being able to uh, secure the vehicle and, you know, see the, the correct, the correct uh, points of, uh, of attachment of the vehicle. For me, it's always a frame. The suspension components attached to the frame are going to be the strongest. I've seen uh, other companies well you know, i'm not going to mention names uh put a, a strap right through the center of the right through the windows uh you know between the the roof and the problem with that is that the roof is not designed to be pulling on it so you grab it yeah i'm sure it will hold and i'm sure there is a safety factor to it but by the time that you're pulling and pulling and pulling especially when some of these vehicles crash and your the integrity is compromised that uh that a pillar is just going to tear right off and you know you could lose a casualty I'm almost at the termination of my cable. I 
bien eh? Chanta saying it's coming, obviously it's coming, it's pulling right up. I was pulled at 150 feet. No sabes si el carro se está cayendo para atrás. No, ¿verdad? No, mira si ese carro se está deslizando para atrás. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Ok. Vamos a bajar ese cable. Ya. la bola, ¿Mande? la bola. Sí. Ok, so what's, what's happening with the terrain being so, uh, so soft, the, the car is sliding back down. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to run my other cable and attach it uh, attach it to the end of the other one. That way I don't uh, lose it because it could slide back down. I could see my cable grabbing tension as I'm, as I'm releasing uh, tension. So it's supposed to drop. It's not supposed to... Uh... Last connection. Last connection. That's why I stopped. Nah, uh, just a, a nah, just a blade. So you got extras. Nah, uh, I kind of broke this gimbal. Ah, uh, dude. Ah, uh, you know what? Nah, not really. How long does it take you guys to put the videos together? Yeah, uh, it takes us a good minute, man. It does it. Yeah. You guys gonna reset the cable now? Yeah, I'm gonna attach this one because I noticed it's sliding a little bit. So I'm gonna grab this one to uh, sustain it and then I'm gonna pull my green cable again. No, pon eso para atrás, gente. Sick.
it so it's we're attached see that we're attached now cool while we're right here i'm gonna double check make sure nothing came loose just in case everything seems in line Climbing, but it's almost like you have no footing. And when you try to make any pressure, you slide, it gets you tired. hard to see but it's coming I can see the hood you can see it right there oh, man, a lot of bugs or mosquitoes I don't know what the hell that is Success.
Crazy. Crazy, huh? Listo, gente. See, we recovered the vehicle already. Um, not bad. 400 feet. You know, it just comes to show sometime. Most of the time, they tell the officers uh, gauge the distances and uh, go over just in case. But uh, it's very hard to gauge the, the distance. Only someone with a pretty trained eye will be able to tell exactly how far down it is. So this one obviously was uh, off uh, 150 feet, but no biggie. We come prepared. We come with extra extra wire rope. We come with uh, extra equipment just in case. Luckily, uh, everything uh, worked out as planned, so we didn't uh, run into. Well, I can't do it, you know. Like I said, some some people will show up and will be like, oh yeah, we got enough cable and then, you know, gotta blame the officer, you know, so you know your profession, you gotta come prepared at all times. Well, we're just gonna put away the trucks now and uh, Chant is gonna finish strapping down the vehicle and uh, head down the mountain so we'll see you on the next one peace